Good morning. <clears throat> a few months ago, someone suggested I should uh, give some uh, language lessons in Japanese. I forget who I forget who it was. So I, it has been on my mind, but and I thought the way to do it was it's just for, it's just for a little bit of fun, but uh, is to take a Japanese word. And so, which you already know, and then and then uh, have fun with it, so it's easy to remember. And so, this, so I'll try it with this first one. It's called Wagamama. Now, I don't know if these restaurants exist in America, but uh, they are very popular in England. And uh, I actually used to supply Wagamama in London when it first started, because I worked for a company called JAC. And uh, now it has become rather... I don't know how many restaurants they've got, but I believe they've got quite a few. But anyway, so Wagamama, what it means is uh, is selfish. And so that's what Wagamama means. So it's very easy to remember, selfish. And another, and another term associated with Waga is Ko. And Ko means child. So Wagako is like... Our child. So you got Wagamama means selfish. Wagako means our child. And Wagakuni means our country. So Kuni is uh, the Japanese for country. So you can say Wagamama, Wagako, Wagakuni. Selfish, our child, our country. So there's uh, the meaning of Wagamama and two extra words there thrown in for free <laughs> I've got to do something with this moustache uh, anyway so uh, that's the first language lesson so please, if, you're, if you're in America please let me know if those uh, restaurants exist and if you've actually heard of that word before thanks a lot and if you're in England let me know if you've been to the Wagamama restaurants and if there's one near you and I do believe although they are noodle restaurants but the thing is they don't they didn't do Japanese style, so none of the sauces were were Japanese. They didn't have like shoyu ramen, for example. They didn't have anything like that. They were all served in English style broths. So if anyone can let me know if that's still the case. So here endeth the first lesson. Have a good weekend. It's hot and stinky in Japan. Bye bye.